Hi guys, so this is a video about the standard deviation and how to find it. So briefly, the standard deviation is a measure of the spread of the number. So it kind of estimates how far away from the mean each of the numbers are. So if you're to work out the mean of this list of numbers in the example, we will have to in a second anyway. It's a good measure of how far away each one is from the actual mean. So that's why we use it. So we've got steps here anyway. If you look at the big uh, formula thing here in the uh, orange box, it looks quite complicated. The X in here anyway just means each of the numbers. So it means the 6 and the 9 and the 10 and so on. That's, the, that's each uh, piece of data. The X with the line over it, that stands for the mean. So you should have, might have seen that before anyway, the X with the line over it. And then the N on the bottom, that just stands for the amount of numbers in the list or the amount of data that you have. So in this case, it would be five because there's five numbers. Um, oh yeah, so this uh, sigma sign here, that stands for the sum of. So what it means is it's the sum of each piece of data minus the mean, all to be squared, over the amount of numbers and then the square root over everything. And this symbol on the left hand side is the symbol for the, what the stand for the standard deviation. So uh, let's start anyway. So first thing we're gonna do, and you've got the steps here, is to calculate the mean. So I need to do six plus nine plus 10 plus 12 plus 13. And when we add them all together, we should get uh, 50. And then because there's five numbers in the list, I'm just gonna divide by five. So that's just working out the mean as normal. So 50 divided by five is 10. So the mean anyway is 10, so I've worked that much out. We're gonna start into the formula then. So I'm gonna take each piece of data. So I'm gonna take each number from the list. So the first one would be six, and I'm gonna take away the mean and then I'm going to square it. So now I've basically done this part in here, but obviously because the sum of part is there, I need to do it for each piece of data. So I'm going to do the same then with nine. So I'm going to take away 10 and square it. And then I'm going to do the same with 12, with 10 and with 12 and 13. And then I'm gonna put it all over five because there's five numbers in the list. That's where that's what n is. And then you have to do big square root over everything. So first part first bracket is six minus ten and to be squared. So six minus ten is minus four, and then that to be squared would be sixteen. Nine minus ten would be minus one, and minus one squared is positive one. Ten minus ten is just zero, and zero squared is still zero. 12 minus 10 squared is two and two squared is four. And 13 minus 10 uh, all to be squared would end up being nine. So that simplifies it a lot. So 16 plus one is 17 plus four is 21 plus nine is 30. So I get 30 on top when I add all those together over five and then I still have to do square root. So it's gonna be the square root of six, and when you put that into your calculator then, you should get something a little bit over two. So 2.45. So 2.45 is the standard deviation for those numbers. So if you want to try uh, with these numbers then, uh, just pause the video there and have a go at it and then play it on and I'll go through the answer.
right so just leave the steps there as well so i'm going to pause the video now and have a go at it so first step anyway is to work out the mean again so 6 plus 14 plus 16 plus 20 so when we add those together uh, we get 56 and then I have to divide it by 4 so 56 divided by 4 is 14 So the mean here is 14 and then I'm going to take each piece of data in it again so 6 first so 6 take away 14 and then all to be squared plus 14 take away 14 all to be squared plus 16 take away 14 all to be squared plus 20 take away 14 all to be squared and then I'm putting it over 4 this time because there's 4 numbers in it and then the square root so 6 take away 14 would be minus uh, 8 so minus 8 squared would be 64 14 take away 14 gets us back to 0 so 0 squared is just 0 16 take away 14 is 2 so 2 squared is 4 and 20 take away 14 is 6, so 6 squared is 36. So when you add these together then you get 104 on top. So 104 then you must divide it by 4 so that would be uh, 26 so I must find the square root of 26 then so I'm going to get decimal again it'll be just above 5 so it'll be 5.099 and that's when we round off as well. 